Hey everybody, I rushed this video out like the opposite of how slow that weird like intro was. I rushed this video out because it's really a time sensitive video and I wanted to give you the opportunity if you would like to, to try out a new game, a new MMO that is currently running a free weekend, Fractured Online. So before we get into what Fractured Online actually is, let's talk about this free weekend. It'll be running from September 3rd through Monday, September 5th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Kind of an early time for it to end, but that's that's what they're doing. And this is in lead up to their early access launch that is coming on September 12th of also this month, 2022. Now, in order to play this game, you will need you will need to do it through the Glyph Launcher. No, God, please, no, no. No! Yes, I know that's a pain in the ass. That's currently how it is. I believe it should be launching on Steam when it launches into early access. You can check it out there on Steam. But for now, you will have to use the Glyph Launcher. It's pretty easy setup. You just have to enter a code that they have here. I will link down below how to access that and just go in there and, and give the game a shot. Because this needs to be done in a timely manner, I'm going to be splitting this video in a sense up into two. So we, this video is kind of just an overview of what is Fractured Online. So you can see if you want to even give it a try. And then later this week, I will be doing a first impressions video on Fractured Online as I delve into it over the, the weekend. So simply consider this an overview and an invitation to try a new MO with me. I'm going to be trying it. Let's give it a shot. Let's at least give it the benefit of the doubt until they've proven us that otherwise. So. You're looking for a new MMO, but you don't want it to be too flashy. You don't want it to have top of the line graphics or come from a publisher with a sterling record and you want it to be kickstarted. Well, enter Fractured Online. Tongue in cheek jokes aside, this is one of only a few MMO releases we'll be getting this year. And with Fractured Online, it won't actually be a full release, but rather early access starting on September 15th, 2022. Fracture Online was originally a kickstarted MMO from Dynamite Studios based out of Italy. The project received a large influx of capital last year and it was officially announced in December of 2021 that Gameago would be publishing Fracture Online. Now, Gameago, of course, is known for sunsetting a lot of MMOs, so hopefully they will at least give this game a chance. You'd be forgiven for looking at Fracture Online and immediately thinking of games like Ultima Online, Legends of Aria, and even, to a small extent, Lost Ark. And while it does have a lot of commonalities with those games, especially the first two, and perhaps Albion Online too, I don't want to leave that one out, but there are some unique systems that set Fracture Online apart. Let's cover the bases first. What is similar? So, isometric, top-down gameplay, an open sandbox MMO with a mix of PvP and PvE. The inspiration from games like Ultima Online, especially in its later years, is pretty evident. The karma system reminds me heavily of the karma system in that game, with kind of PKs being a thing that happens and earning back your karma through killing in PvE. But Fracture Online actually splits this up into different alignments and adds a quirk, a very interesting quirk, that we'll get to in just a little bit. Legend altars also exist throughout the world, kind of like bigger PvE events that you would get to work together to fight. There's something you can find easily on the map and they have different difficulty settings. Reminds me a little bit of the, the summons that you would do in Ultima Online. Now, I don't know if these legend altars are as large as those summons, something I'll have to look at later when I go through the first impressions because I'm definitely going to at least give one a try and probably die in the process, but they're at least there, so there is an, an incentive to go do those. Three different races, three different planets, and three different gameplay styles. One of the defining features of Fraction Online isn't actually in the game yet. When Early Access comes around later in September, two of the three available races should be playable, but right now, the only playable race is the humans. This is notable because each of the three races in the game will have a different gameplay style. If you're PvP averse, you might choose the Wild Folk and Arborist, which focuses on PvE and cooperative gameplay. If you want to down several cans of Mountain Dew and go on a PvP rampage, Demons and the Planet Tartaros are your best bet. And finally, if you want to do both, or you just can't decide, pick a human 
The bland toast with butter of every RPG and MMO. Look, even Fracture Online says humans are mediocre. A player-driven economy isn't exactly new to a game like this. Ultima Online is a masterclass in the matter, but there are some interesting takes on crafting and harvesting in Fractured that remind me a bit of both Ultima Online and Albion. Mining ore and chopping down trees alone is an event. It's not just simply tucking the ore in your pack or your pack horse, as you'll have to carry it, and perhaps to the nearest player run town or to your own little home and base of operations. Fractured's home and town system deserves a video of its own, so I won't go too much into detail here, but in short, you'll be able to work together to create a town focusing on specific tech options with the ability to rank up, making strategic decisions on how best to rank up your town. Towns have their own predefined locations in Fractured, as do the more lonely, but still important, residential areas. These areas are where you'll be able to set up your home outside the town walls. This is your area, and you can develop it how you like, free of any influence from a governor in a town though with significantly less options than with a town. So there's the trade-off. Fractured wants you to understand that there's no grind in the game, kind of, but also there's still a little bit of a grind if we're being honest here. They use a system called the knowledge system in which your actions in game provide you with knowledge points. This is your leveling, sorry, progression currency. You can use these knowledge points to buy new talent points from their expansive talent tree or new abilities from the hundreds available. Knowledge points are gained through exploring the world, learning about creatures through violence, harvesting resources, and learning about legendary creatures through legendary violence. It's not as simple as gaining these points though. There's an interesting quirk with the abilities. Many of them won't be discoverable, at least not initially. To learn them, you'll not only need the knowledge points, but also need to expose yourself to those abilities by hunting down the creatures in the world who use them. This is perhaps one of my favorite things about Fracture Online as it encourages you to explore the world, find new and interesting creatures, and kill them repeatedly for knowledge. So that's my brief overview of Fractured Online. If it sounds interesting to you, Go ahead and jump in right now. Jump in and on that free weekend. Take advantage of it so you don't have to pay before you go into it. This game will be a buy to play title when it does release and it will have an optional VIP subscription and it's game ago. So we'll see how that goes. Now I'll be there myself and during the free weekend because I want to get as much of a, a good first impressions of this game as I can. And I will let you all know how that goes in an upcoming video later this week. But if you're looking for an MMO with a little less sandbox and a little more theme park, why not take a look at this video here on Guild Wars 2 in the MMOs Aren't Dead series. My name is Redbird Flint, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.